Hey, what up, guys? Uh, I'm here with a sword reveal this time. It's something different from what I usually do. Blade is actually called a Koga Ninja Toe Blade. There you go. That's what it's called. Um, it's basically a form of uh, a ninja sword. Quotation marks. No, oh, yeah, ninja sword. Um, I know it's not like traditional or like authentic type of things like a katana and everything like the Japanese use, but this particular sword is what I grew up, you know, seeing on TV and I always wanted it. So I don't care if you say it's a bad sword or whatnot, but I love this freaking sword. So yeah, man, I got this. I picked it up on uh, True Swords. Wait, this Kudo. So um, this is the box that it came in. So let me show you guys what's inside. And it's nothing. All jokes aside, <clears throat> I kept it in a wrap. So yeah, let's um pull this bad this bad boy out real quick. Let's go on to the scabber or sire, which they call it. Uh, it's a jet black. It's beautiful. It's like it's shiny. I don't know what this logo means right here. It's, um, well, a lot of people haven't done reveals on the sword. I only saw like two, so I'm gonna be the third one. <laughs> yeah, I should know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so I guess uh say it's a ninja, but I'm not sure. If you know, just let me know. And, um, yeah. So let me get a little closer view of it. That's the handle. I don't know what they really call it. I don't know any of the fancy words that much, but a manuki? I don't know. Play the self, though. Right there. Let's see. Can you see that? Yeah. It's a little... I don't know, it seems a little dirty, but I mean, I wiped it down and everything. But yeah, man, this uh, the sword is a straight, straight edge sword. It's not like those katanas where it's, um, it has that curve. But yeah, this is the type of sword I like and supposedly the ninjas use. But a lot of other people say, you know, ninjas don't exist and everything, but I don't really care. I'm gonna be a ninja, so ha! Anyways, um, this is a. Uh, a uh, full functional sword. It's a full tang. Um, you can tell by um, if you can't see right here, it has the little pegs. So it's full tang, really sturdy. It doesn't wobble or anything. It's uh, really nice, heavy. Also, it's a good weight. Um, I have a video of me using this to cut um, like a little box. If you guys want to see that, I'll just put it in anyways. Uh, just to let you know, I'm. <laughs> that was the first time I ever cut something with a sword, so <clears throat> don't mind me, alright? I know I need more power, but I think my stance was pretty good. But yeah, so, um, well, that's the sword, everything. Well, this is metal. This is carbon steel, just to let you know. I don't know what, it's like 1040 or 1045 or 1050, one of those. It's, it's around that, uh, that area. But yeah, this sword is beautiful. Um, what else can I say? It's, uh, razor sharp. I don't know if I said that already. It's tra traditionally sharpened. 10 days so I've heard um yeah it's just this thing is gorgeous it's beautiful I just freaking love it it's not one of those cheap um stainless steel swords but um you know speaking of stainless steel I freaking love this sword so much that I went and got another one yeah but um the one you see right there is a stainless steel so I just got it just for the looks um this one's like to cut, to use basically. But this one's just to uh, to show, for show. I mean, uh, same thing with the other one, but this one's um, not as smooth looking and stuff. But I think they're about the same size, right there. <clears throat> the only reason why I also um, picked, well, bought this one was because it's cheap, uh, and I always wanted a ninja sword or uh, a ninja toe. Um, that's chrome or silver, you know, because this, oh, that's, that's why I forgot. This one is a black finish blade, black paint, so it's more like to use in the dark so they don't see you. Like, you know, since ninjas, they're stealth, so, you know, you don't want to be seen. But this one, you know, I just wanted a, a chrome looking sword. But, yeah, I know a lot of people's going to say it's crap, which it is. It will break on you, of course, but... I'm not going to use it to cut stuff. I'm just going to use it for looks and everything. Oh, and for this particular type of sword, since I bought it for really cheap, like about 26 bucks, um, I'm going to take this apart right here. I don't know how, but if anybody else knows how, please let me know. I'm going to take this apart to reveal the um, the rat tail tang, I guess. 
I'm gonna break that shit apart. And um, I'm gonna try my best to uh, find somebody to help me, um, what's that, wield another metal into it and make it a full tank. And just use that for like uh, practice swinging around. Although it might crack or break if I swing around, but hey, whatever. I'm just testing it out. It's gonna be a project, it's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, um, if you guys want to see me uh, cut it, which I think I just said, um, you guys should be able to see it right now. And as you can see, I didn't really do a good job, but I'm going to give it a go on the next video. Well, that rhyme. But I think I'm going to put more power into the um, the swing so I can slash that shit. Anyways, that's my babies. Put that away. And yes, they do look alike, don't they? Won't they, won't they? Chicka chow chow day. Anyways, but uh, that's it for my swords. Or I, actually, I have more swords, but these are my top favorites right now. But if you guys have any questions or, you know, want to know anything about the swords or want to tell me any more information, let me know. Comment below. Like the video, please. And yeah, I'll come back with more of these reviews if you guys like it. All right, man. Deuces. Be safe. Wear protection. Holla.